Hi friends, how are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm here today with what I'm calling a beer knits extra, except instead of knitting and crocheting and the usual fare, we're actually only going to focus on cross stitch today. I have previously gone into some of my cross stitching projects as part of the podcast in the past, but with it now being stitch mania, I thought it would be cool to kind of break off from incorporating cross stitch into my usual podcast and kind of make it its its own thing and talk about my my plans for the month. So without further ado, let's get started. But before we dive into what I'm making, if you like what you see, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can get notified of all my future podcasts through YouTube. The first thing that I am planning to work on during Stitch Mania is a new start and it is this Caterpillar Cross Stitch Royal Coronation Kit. So I bought this because I am a wee bit obsessed with the royal family. I wouldn't necessarily call myself a royalist, but I suppose I am just because I do follow them and I'm a little fascinated. Yes, I did read Harry's book as well. Um, we can save our opinions for later, but yeah, I do like the royal family and honestly, like how often do you get to see a coronation? I just think that's pretty cool. So I am probably going to start this tonight to kick off Stitch Mania just to get it going. And then I plan to work on it during the coronation once I figure out how to watch it this weekend. It is going to be an early morning for me. I think the festivities start around like 5 a.m. my time. And it is also the same day as my childhood best friend's wedding. So it's going to be a long day for me. Um, but I do think it's going to be really fun, really cool to watch live because again, how often do you get to see a coronation? Probably will only get to see maybe two in my lifetime in theory. Um, so I really want to start this and it's really cute. It just has like the crown in 2023 on it and, and all the cool stuff you can expect. There is a Corgi needle minder that I ordered as well. It's not here yet, but it is also offered from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. So I'm hoping it gets here this week so I can use it while I'm stitching on this over the weekend. Then everything else are things that I just want to wrap up during the month of May. The first one being this ornament from Satsuma Street called a Mary Pear. Um, when I saw her put this kit out, I got really excited and knew I had to have it. I have a bunch of her Christmas ornaments and her Halloween ones as well. So I wanted to really round out my collection and I just think it's really adorable and I love the colors. They kind of go with my Christmas theme, which are teals and pinks and things like that. Um, while also incorporating the more traditional, you know, reds and, and whatnot. So this is as far as I got over the holidays when I was working on it um, the first time. I really don't think it's going to take much longer to complete. They usually whip up really quick. And so I'm not, I'm not too concerned about it. I think I did this over the course of like a week for maybe like an hour a night or something. Um, before I got distracted with finishing everyone else's Christmas gifts. So honestly, I think, I think I'll be okay to, to wrap this up pretty quickly as long as I, as long as I focus on it. The next project that I want to finish during Stitch Mania is this Mill Hill Buttons and Beads Autumn series. It's called Wanda's Wands. And I have been working on this for so long, just on and off that, <laughs> Um, it has seen better days, as you can tell it's been kind of beat up, but I do have a really nice frame for it, so it'll it'll be fine when all is said and done. All that's left on this at this point is the beading, so I don't think it'll take too long. I despise beading when I start it, but the end result is so worth it that it's okay. <laughs> it's okay in the end if that's what I gotta do, but I would really love to finish this up in May so I can put the frame on it and put it out for Halloween because that's gonna be here before we know it, right? And then finally, the last thing that I want to finish up in May is last year's Stitch Along from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And as you can see, I really didn't get too far into it. I mean, I, I made some progress. I did pretty well following with like the first four or five clues, right? And then I just, I stopped, but I did buy this year's year long stitch along as well because I couldn't resist. It was castle themed. There are unicorns, there's a frog and a crown and a dragon. Like 
it called my name and I said, you know what, if I'm going to invest in their next year long stitch along, then I should probably finish last year's. So once I'm done with the kind of quick wins, I'm going to spend the rest of the month focusing on finishing this. And it is really cute. It's got like little mermaids and scuba divers and all like the little creatures you'll find in the sea. And I just really enjoy the way that it looks. So I would really like to have this finished. Um, and then that way I can put it out for, for the summer as well. So looking forward to that. I like pulling out these old projects too and finding what needle minders have escaped me. Cause I'll be sitting there like, I don't know what happened to that needle minder. It's lost. No, it's not lost. It's on a project I never finished. So yeah, as a newer cross stitcher and a slow one at that, I'm not sure if that's overly ambitious or just the right amount of ambition. Um, considering we're also going to Disney World for a few days in the middle of May. So that's going to be a few days where I won't be able to work on projects. But I, fin I figure if I finish the Coronation Cross Stitch, which if I started this week, those things from Caterpillar Cross Stitch go really fast. So I think I can get that out of the way pretty quick. Um, and then the ornament and the uh, Wanda's Wands are relatively quick wins as well, just because that's the nature of how, how they're designed. Like the Wanda's Wands is almost done and those ornaments go really fast. So I think those will be okay. And then I can spend the rest of the month finishing last year's Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Stitch Along and just get, the, get these works in progress off my plate because I'm kind of tired of having the build up. And there are other things that I would like to work on this summer. So, you know, it's nice to, it's nice to cleanse cleanse the palette. With that, I hope you enjoyed everything that you saw. Let me know what you're working on for Stitch Mania as well. If you have a YouTube channel or an Instagram, I would love to see what you're working on and we can all inspire each other to keep going, even though we might be tired of the things that we're doing by the end of the month. Um, but yeah, I would, I would love to see what you're working on just because you guys are all so inspirational and as a beginning stitcher, it's cool to see some of the more difficult projects or the more time intensive projects that everyone has going um, and learning new techniques along the way. So yeah, feel free to share those with me. Head on over to my Instagram to follow along with me during the next month or so. There won't be too much knitting, I don't think. So yeah, let's keep in touch and I will see you at the end of the month for an update of how far I got. So bye.